Hi, right, welcome back to my channel. We're at day 24 as the Democratic Republic of Congo in Conflict of Nations, World War III. Uh, we have, well, you saw the last episode, we set up our invasion for Nigeria, and it went really well. I don't think we really had too many problems. We had some units that were left over here, uh, but we've dealt with them with some airstrikes. And so really all we have left is... Lagos down here and I think yeah we've seized this port Port Harcourt on the border and so we will go ahead and we're gonna just wrap up our our movements through here um, I still have an AWACS here and the only thing he is detecting is over here and I think my other AWACS must have be offline must have to go back to refuel I'm gonna shift him up there Yep, there's my other AWACS down here. I'm not really too concerned. I think most of my resistance is over here. And I do have a recon unit up here. These these units are somewhat weak. I've got a, uh, I think he, well, he's doing okay. So I might just go ahead and have him move up to here. I will have him move up with him. Uh, I'm going to have him go ahead and move into here, and he's pretty weak, so whenever he gets done, I'm going to waypoint him and send him back down to here to uh, basically build up his hit points again. All right, uh, what we've got left. I've got some units down here. These guys are still doing pretty well, so I'm going to just have him start. Well, that's not what I really wanted to do. I'm going to have him start to clear up through here. Pretty much right into there. I've got these other units here. Not sure why they are not combined and where. Oh, I've got my. So I've got my artillery unit still back out over here. I'm gonna have him set up to bombard. It's an unknown contact, but we know what the contact is. So I will have them shift up to here. I will have him roll over into here. I'm just going to have him go ahead and finish knocking off all these uh, stuff we've got left down here. He's moving up. He's moving up. Yep. Uh, the next thing I am going to do, I am pretty positive that some of these are going to be armored units. And really what I can do is have this uh, MCO patrol over in here. I'm still kind of expecting a fighter unit to be uh, wandering around here. I'm going to split these off. Still holding there. Okay. Now, what I've done with the rest of my game here is we are, um, we talked before about how to increase production where I basically annex this uh, city here. Now, the best way to increase your production is to build these recruiting offices, which I've begun to build all throughout here. And what they do for you is they will, if we click on one of these, a recruiting office will actually gen increase your manpower. It has a flat resource bonus. I'm not quite sure how that works. It increases the uh, hit points of um, 
the, the, the I'm assuming the city and then you have a mobilization speed which is pretty critical so basically if this is a hundred percent faster I can produce units a hundred percent faster when I build this if I have three of these or uh, is it five how does that work let's go through and look and sue this city yeah I'm up to level three which is my second one I think I built in here and so you build another one and it will double your production speed so that's pretty critical when you're trying to get your army all set up and ready to go I have got another aircraft here I'm gonna fly him up to here and this is all production so I sent him back to rebuild this is a new unit but I'm, I'm really just about finishing up here I don't really need to move too much of this stuff along the border what I do want to do is start moving these up into here because my next target is going to be Algeria so I'm just gonna go ahead and shift what I've got up into here and the other thing is I need to build a airfield so I can stage my aircraft up here and do what I'm gonna do and you know what I'm gonna put my uh, you know what no I'm gonna put him up into here which is kinda risky I've got uh, Saudi Arabia right here and they might come after me but I'm gonna go ahead and put it there cuz that'll just work out better uh, and I already have one built here maybe I shouldn't have put that there but I'm okay I'm where I'm at right now um, and I will start staging units up here as I draw this to a close over here now we did start to build down here a infantry officer and we talked about how these increase uh, your whatever stack they're in it makes them more efficient uh, and it plus it they also carry their own uh, attack benefits or bonuses um, over here okay so I'm cranking this stuff out over here research um, so I'm almost all the way down this tree here I've got one more before I'm I've, I've finished out the uh, motorized infantry and over here I'm researching guided missiles and I need to research ballistic missiles and this is to get the cruise missile okay we can't even start researching this until this has got to be the next one so the one thing that I'm missing that I probably need to get is some air superiority because right now we haven't really fought anybody that has an Air Force but as we progress towards the end of the game we're going to probably run into these units uh, what I would like to do is get up here and get the uh, stealth air superiority fighter and maybe even a stealth uh, strike fighter I think that would uh, probably help us out quite a bit so but that's where we're sitting right now I will keep my production up um, right over here I could actually pull in another fighter or another uh, strike unit I've got my infantry leader I'm building an infantry unit there I don't I think I can't I think we already looked at this I can't build any more of these uh, Igla rail guns just because you're limited to uh, three oh, limited mobilization is now six so maybe I can build some more of those because those have been really effective um, that's interesting so this is three on the elite attack helicopter uh, 
uh, whenever that gets better as you move your way up the uh, chain. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, the other thing that we want to do is, yeah, we want to keep on cranking these infantry units out for the time being. More fighter units. Okay, and I think that is everybody producing right now. Okay, I think that does it for us. Now we got our AWACS over here, and yes, those are two armored units, which means I really don't want my regular gunships to attack them because they don't really... If I look at this, they're only dealing 2.5 for armored versus 8 for infantry. So I want to save those for infantry. I don't know what this other contact is over here, so we will redirect him to that until I find out differently. Let's shift him over. It'll only take a minute. So, and as he's going over, that's that's pretty much what we've got. So we're going to finish off Nigeria. We're going to stage up here on the border. I'm not quite sure. I sent a message off to the coalition because we if there's like France was part of the coalition, then France isn't part of the coalition. So I don't know. It looks like we can attack him. So... Maybe when I go into Algeria, I will seize this whole shooting match over here and call that a day. I'll go after Algeria, which I don't think is going to be much of a uh, challenge, but then I'm not sure what the status on France is right now. Um, might put some uh, uh, intel units into France to uh, find out what the status on that is. What do I got those... Oh, so let's go back and look at our Dentel units. We didn't collect anything on the Saudis last time. Um, Kazakhstan. So really what I'm looking at here, so he's got level 4 bombers, level 4 fighter aircraft, level f 1 fighters. And most of his ground units are pretty weak. So uh, he does have some SAM units, though. So we'll be, whenever, if we come up on Kazakhstan, we need to be uh, prepared, which I think he's part of that coalition. Whenever I hit the Saudis, it's going to trigger that. So anyway, <clears throat> yep, got another armored unit over there. So I will probably, well, I'll let him go in once, and then I'll probably call him off. Anyway, so that's where we sit right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. I appreciate you watching. Take care and see you next time. Bye.